Hi everybody, it's John here providing you with practical data solutions. Today, I have a great video in store for you exploring techniques to fix unallocated space on your external hard drive. This topic will help you use the storage space of your hard drives optimally. You can fix unallocated disks easily using our recommended solutions. Come on, let us learn together. What does unallocated mean? In common terms, you can refer to the unallocated space on your hard drive as the unused space. Free space is also considered as unallocated space. Hard drives have two sections, namely free space and use space. Your files reside in the use space of the hard drive, whereas the storage location is empty in the unallocated space of the hard drive. So what happens when you have unallocated disks? When you hit the My Computer icon on your PC, you won't be able to view the drive name as you normally would. This occurs because of the unallocated space on the drive. Sometimes the entire drive is unallocated for unknown reasons, despite any changes that you make in the control panel and settings of your computer to try and fix it. This is a massive problem as you cannot write, read or store any data on the unallocated hard drive. To overcome this issue, you have to fix the unallocated hard drive to make it active and usable. Many people ask why their hard drive has unallocated space. There are many reasons that can cause this unusual behavior. Major causes which lead to unallocated hard drives include the following. Unexpected error while storing the data, improper handling of the drives while ejecting, malware and virus attacks, partitions were created or modified incorrectly, issues with the hard disk driver software. It could be any one of these causes or a combination of them that leads to an unallocated disk. So if we encounter the issue, what should we do? Here are some workable solutions on how to fix an unallocated external hard drive or how to allocate a hard drive. Method one, create a new partition on the external hard drive using the disk management tool in Windows 10. Before you begin, connect the external hard drive to your computer system. Step one, open the disk management window. On your keyboard, press the Windows key and R key simultaneously and type diskmanagement.msc. Hit the enter button to open the Windows disk management tool, then choose external HDD or SDD and select the unallocated space. Make a right click and choose new simple volume from the expanded list. Step two, specify the volume size. In this window, you must type in the volume size in megabytes. You should enter the values between the minimum and maximum and press the next button. Step three, format the new drive. You'll need to enter the drive label in the next screen followed by the formatting procedure. Choose the radio button near format this volume and select the file system type in the volume label, etc. Tick the checkbox with the label, perform a quick format and hit the next button. Finally, complete the partition process by pressing the finish button. That's all you need to do. I hope the issue of the unallocated partition has been fixed. If this procedure didn't work, we're going to fix it in Windows 10 with CMD, otherwise known as the command prompt. Once again, make sure the external hard drive is connected to the PC. Step one, press the window and R keys together. In the run box, type CMD to trigger the procedure. Then enter disk part and click the enter button to show the disk part utility window. Step two, in disk part, type volume and hit enter. Step three, type select volume X and hit enter. Note that volume X is the drive letter of your unallocated external hard drive. Step four, type delete volume and hit enter. Step five, list volume and hit enter. Note that even if the disk management tool cannot create a new volume on it, continue to the next steps below. Step six, type select volume X and hit enter. Step seven, type delete volume and hit enter. Step eight, delete volume override and hit enter. Step nine, navigate to disk management and right click the unallocated disk to create a new volume and set the file system to fix the unallocated error. By now, I hope you have successfully fixed the unallocated disk issue. The above discussed two methods have a common disadvantage 
you can't create a new partition drive in the file system FAT32 larger than 32 megabytes. If you still have not been able to fix the issue, then I have one more method for you to try. Method three, update the hard drive driver. To fix the unallocated hard drive issue, you can try to update or reinstall the hard drive driver. Step one, go to the device manager. Type device manager in the search box and hit the enter button. Right click the unallocated disk and select update driver software. Step two, update the driver software. In the next screen, you have to select search automatically to update the driver software from the listed options. Step three, if the above step doesn't work for you, then try to reinstall the driver. Go to the device manager window and right click the unallocated hard drive. Choose the uninstall option from the expanded list. While these methods may fix the issue with your hard drive, what about data loss? Most of us use our external hard drives to save valuable files and essential data. When the external hard drive becomes unallocated, you may lose some of that data, even after repairing the drive using the methods I've just shown you. If that's the case, you can opt for third-party software like Recoverit Data Recovery from Wondershare. The Recoverit Data Recovery software is a sophisticated program which restores the lost data quickly. It supports all types of file formats like images, audio, video files, etc. It performs the recovery procedure on various external storage devices, including external hard drives, memory cards, camcorders, etc. So let's take a look at how this works. Step one, connect the external hard drive onto your PC, commencing the recovery process. After downloading and installing Recover at Data Recovery, launch it and select your external hard drive under the external devices section and hit the start button. Step two, scan the external hard drive. This program conducts a complete scan on all of the files which were residing in the unallocated hard drive. From the scan list of files, you need to select the data that you want to recover. You can preview the selected files before the recovery process. Step three, recover the file in the preview window, hit the recover button and save the file at your desired storage location on your PC. Whether your external hard drive is unallocated, uninitialized, unrecognized, format or crashed, Recover at Data Recovery can get your files back without further damage to them. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the methods in this video can help you sort out your unallocated disk. Looking forward to meeting you again with exciting and informative topics. And don't forget to stay connected with our channel by subscribing. Post your comments and queries below. Hope to see you again soon.